Suldrak is a zone in central Northern. Covered in Scourge Blight, it is the home of the Drakari Ice Trolls. Here, there is a heavy influence of Arthas forces, and among the things we can find are three necropolises. One of them is called Voltaris, and that's located in northwestern Suldrak, where it serves as the headquarters of Drakaru, a Scourge overlord. The second necropolis, called Ramus, has fallen to the ground, and its wreckage lies just south of the altar of Arkoa. Both of these areas are part of the questing experience, so if you're going through the quests in Suldrak, you will visit Voltarus and Kolramas respectively. However, there is one more necropolis in Suldrak, which actually serves no purpose at all. Seramos is flying just east of Ebon Watch, and you can't reach it without a flying mount. Now, back in Wrath of the Lich King, you still couldn't fly in this level, so Seramos is really just here as decoration. And while you can fly up into the lower part of the necropolis, there is actually a sealed off upper floor as well, and that is what we are going to explore today. You don't have to worry about any preparations, the only thing you need is a flying mount, so as soon as you got that, make your way to the lower part of the necropolis. Here you want to fly over to one of the bonus structures in the central area, and then dismount on it. It doesn't matter which one you pick, but when you have landed, make your way as far up as you can, until your character can't progress any further. Now you want to use the disconnect glitch, so start mounting up on a flying mount, and when the cast bar is almost full, hit Alt F4. This is going to close your game, so start it up again and log back in. If you did it right, you will now be mounted, and you can fly straight through the roof and enter the top floor. And now we are inside, so the exploration can begin. The upper area consists of a grand hall with an arena in the middle. This is surrounded by dark crystals, and a green glow can be found in the center. The area itself is massive and ornamented skulls are placed all around the walls. If you look around the room, you will see several Scourge war machines and cages, along with stacks of crates and boxes. Now, this is actually the same interior that you can find in Voltaris, and the glitch works if you want to revisit that place as well after you have finished the quest line, which deactivates the transport pad. However, the main perk with Ceramas is that you don't have to deal with NPCs, which you have to do in Voltaris and a massive and beautiful location like this, without interference of mobs or quest givers, is nothing short of brilliant from a role-playing perspective. I don't want to encourage bad behavior, but if you were role-playing an evil mastermind with the intention to destroy all of Azeroth, you really can't pick a better place than this to use as your headquarters. Now you can leave the central area through several doors, and all of them take you to stairways, which leads to a floor above. Here you can enter a balcony, which gives you a great view of the entire area. It should also give you a better understanding just how big this place is. And in my eyes, this hall really is a masterpiece, which shows how beautiful the Scourge architecture can be. Alright, so this was the second part of my series of shorter explorations, where I showcase areas that I find unique or interesting. I really hope you liked it, and if you did, do give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, and I will be back with more stuff very soon. But until then, take care.